Greetings, you guys. So this is going to be a random read, I guess you can say. Um, while I'm in the energy to do reads, I figured I'd do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's tap in. Um, before we do, I just want to pray and ask that the Holy Spirit be present with us, our spiritual angels, our ancestors who are divinely assigned to our lives, divine protection. Okay. Okay, so... see I cast down false facts as false imaginations and false prophecies in the mighty name of Jesus even I should what is the and obviously this is audio only okay so let's see what is the message what is the message what is the message what's the message Okay. So what I'm getting from this energy is there's like some type of I'm getting like spirit is put you in a place of protection and a safe haven. Okay. It's almost like sometimes when we look back at things that we didn't do or Oh, you know, everybody else was doing this and you feel like you missed out on things and or whatever. Spirit is saying, it's like when you look back, you'll be happy that something didn't go a certain way. Okay. I'm also getting like for some of you, you dodge bullets with like some type of drama or people around you um, dealing with drama. So you had a lot of angelic protection around you because I feel like your spiritual team could see that there's something in the mist that you couldn't see like you could have easily got involved in something that you would later maybe perhaps would have regret or wouldn't be happy with to begin with so it's kind of like thank your lucky stars that you didn't um deal with these types of energies spirit is saying like um not literal blood but it's like you could have gotten hurt in a situation i'm getting like an energy of like drama or people that are just filled with drama And another thing I'm seeing, too, is like, it's going to be a, I don't know who this is for, but it's going to be a time where, wow, it's going to be a time where people that were divinely warned, yeah, it's like people that were being divinely warned or people that tried to maybe mess with you energetically they're gonna wish that they didn't but it's like they're gonna be reaching out to you and i feel like you're just gonna be in a a, a seat of like kind of just sitting in your seat of authority not even really 
in that level of energy anymore because it's like this okay this card that i'm using it's the king of cups and he's sitting on his throne in the midst of these waters it's like raging waters matter of fact and it's these they look like fallen angels and they're reaching up to him but they can't reach him i'm getting kind of like the story of noah in the bible where noah was given the prophetic message to build an ark because there was a flood god was about to cleanse out all of the toxicity off of the earth all of the wickedness and toxicity and noah was to warn everyone no one listened everybody laughed at him everybody thought he was crazy you know and years had passed but um noah was able to get his family and their wives on this boat along with the animals you guys probably know the story whatever um <laughs> i don't really need to explain it but you guys know the gist um so it's kind of like when you you may have like warned some people or something like you might have or just i don't feel like people took heed someone didn't take heed Someone did not take heed. And I feel, I feel like what has happened is like, or is going to happen because I, I feel like this is in the potential future where these people either that are being divinely warned by God, the most high divine spirit, maybe even their own spiritual team to, to cut the BS, like stop, I don't know what you're doing. You need to stop. They haven't taken heed to this. I'm getting a rude awakening. And your energy is going to be out of reach, out of touch. And spirit is protecting you. Just know that. There's a storm. Most, Yeah, most definitely. There's a storm that's about to happen. And I feel like what what's going on behind the scenes with you, of course, you know this because this is where you are. You're healing. Um, your spiritual team and your angels are doing a work. They're realigning and balancing your energy out. And while you're kind of kept in this energy, I feel that this, these energies, whoever these energies are, whoever resonates with this on the opposite side, or you may know what this is about. Those on the opposite side of this are going to get swept up in all of the drama. I knew this was going to happen. I was going to have to explain this dream I had. Um, side note, because some people probably don't want to hear about um, my dreams and stuff. But I feel when it's led for me to share the dreams and insights that I get and stuff, I have to share it. So I had a dream earlier this afternoon or this morning, I think it was. I had a dream that I was flying. I was like high up in the air, but I felt like I was a bird. I didn't feel like I was a human. Like my body, the way that I was flying was almost like I was a bird. I don't know how to explain it. So I had a bird's eye view, I guess you can say. And I saw a book floating in the sky. It was a night sky. And I seen this book and the book was illuminated in blue. It's, it's blue. So you can take it as throat chakra, I guess. It was nothing but blue and it was illuminated and it was, it looked like an American flag was on the book and it looked like an eagle was on the book. And I was looking at the, my surroundings and I was freaking out and I felt myself panicking in my sleep. I felt this, like I was breathing really fast and really hard in my sleep because I was looking and I saw all this smoke. It was like the city, like the entire city was covered in smoke and darkness like it was just dark smoke everywhere and I guess things were burning and I was panicking I was like what is going on and I was deep like my flight was starting to descend and then I turned around and I started flying the opposite way and I see nothing but like it's it turned into a light scene like it looked like sunlight after that and it was like this, these beautiful homes, they look like they were kind of like in a garden and I went into one of them and they offered to feed me and I woke up after that. I feel like there's storms in the mist 
the America, I could go deeper into that, but I don't have time to do that, to interpret that dream. The part that stood out to me that spirit is recalling because it came up for a reason is that there's things that you have to be above. You can't be below because it's like if you're caught in the midst of the storm and the drama, you're not going to be able to see everything as it is, if that makes sense. So spirit is saying for some of you that be grateful that you are taken in a, in a place of a hiding place and a security within the divine as things are going on, um, that you're not in the middle of it. There's only so much that you can do. There's only so much that you can say for some of you. Um, you have to remove yourself from inner conflict or the conflict and drama of others or just remove yourself out of all of this gunk. If that makes sense, things going on around you, like collectively, energetically, not saying to turn your back on people or humanity, but spirit is saying, like, if you're being guided to remove yourself, like. I've been taking a fast off social media. I will not go on there unless I absolutely have to. There's no purpose, no reason for me to be on there other than for work or business or whatever. If I have to communicate, I will. If not, you know my number. And if I don't answer, it's for a reason. Okay. So if you feel led to do that, take time off. Storms do not have to be literal. Um, it's energetic. And if it's not collective, it's most definitely just in your own personal environment where spirit might be calling you or leading you to um, kind of step out of out of the all of the no, all of the inner circle being caught up in everything that everybody else is doing, because there's a reason for that. Spirit is guiding you to. Um, remove yourself for a reason and protecting you in the midst of it okay and i feel like for some of you um this is like these fallen angels are in two other cards it's like these big nephilim spirits like these big gigantic energies off in the background and they're causing this conflict or they're overlooking this conflict all of these people fighting and they're just in the background and then the next you see them trying to reach for this king of cups trying to reach for grace trying to reach for protection and this king is un just unbothered these lower vibrational energies are not going to be able to penetrate you or touch you as long as you stay as long you have to be divinely guided i can't tell you what to do ask spirit to guide you is it of my highest good to do to, you know to go here to go there and if you feel led that you need to take your time away or unplug please do or if you feel led to not talk to people please do if you feel led to fast off of certain things that you're watching or listening to please do um people you don't feel like it's of your highest good to speak talk to deal with whatever by all means, do what you have to do for yourself. Spirit is guiding you for a reason and trust and believe. When spirit guides me to um, stay out of the mix of things, it's for a reason. So I'm only saying this. Yes, the message is, is coming through as it's coming through. But I know this all too well. So I'm just saying this as an encouragement and as a testament that it is better to be in the safe haven of divine protection than to just ignore it and just do it, whatever, right? And this isn't to say anything bad is going to happen to you. I'm seeing drama at the very most. Drama, just energy you don't want to get caught up in. Um, people that they are also getting the call, but people are so caught up in the rat race and caught up in their own stuff and their own drama or even being um, used by these lower forces and energies and lower vibrational energies doing whatever that they're missing the point and i'm looking at this card here with this angel in the back that's over this person's home protecting them it's a storm it's a dark cloud it looks exactly like my dream and i have to i guess i'm gonna have to use these as a thumbnail so you guys can see what i'm talking about but there's even a storm in the king of cups card 
It looks like those black clouds that I seen in my dream. Stay out of the way. <laughs> Stay out of the way. For your own highest good, please. Reserve your energy, protect your energy, stay under the safe haven of the divine. Okay? Much love as always, y'all. Y'all be blessed. You be safe. Take care. Peace.